We have a little visitor. Here he is. Hi, Bullet. Oh, oh yeah, Stretch. Good to see you, dude. How's your day going so far? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming to visit. Give me a kiss. Thank you for coming. It's so good to see you. Hey, what's up, buddy? You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. This is crazy. Shout out to my friend Anthony who sent me a text about this. You guys know Anthony, he has the big beard, he's the chef, just celebrated his 10 year anniversary with his wife. And he's the one that I now have matching ankle tattoos with. <laughs> Hand drawn, homemade ankle tattoos. He's in upstate New York uh, for a work conference and he just sent me a text. He's like, dude, I'm sitting here with one of your, your supporters. And he sent me a photo of the two of them. Turns out they were having a conversation wherever they were and he was he makes those boards the um the like the cutting boards that I've showed you guys about he was showing her the cutting boards on Instagram and I came up on his Instagram that's why I came up in conversation she's like how do you know him kind of thing and it turns out she follows me and has been watching my videos and he like he knows it was just such a crazy small world then like how crazy is that so something that's been on my list for a long time now at this point is the Jacob Restituto instrumentals tracks. I make instrumentals of almost every track that I've ever done, but there are a couple that I have not. And I would like to, first of all, make them. Second of all, ugh, once they're made, turn them into the Jacob Restituto. I'm guessing I would call it, I don't know, the, I'm trying to turn on my camera, I apologize. The Jacob Restituto. A Spotify channel with instrumentals where like people could stream that. The reason I probably wouldn't put it on my main Spotify channel is because I don't particularly like, like when I'm listening to somebody's music and then a random instrumental comes on. I probably will keep them separate, but the benefits to that too is I could also use them as background music in other songs, in other videos, I mean. Also, I think I'm gonna go live while I'm doing it. There's no reason I can't go live, hang out with everybody, and also get everything accomplished. I need to figure out, like, I need, what I need is like a Excel, Excel spreadsheet of all of my songs. That would be very helpful. So I was making instrumentals this morning and I came across this track. Look at this. This is Believe 2.0, an upbeat version of Believe. It's actually really sick. Take a listen. This is crazy. People say fine contentment. They say I should get a job. Oh look, here's Rob pulling up. Got some more dirt. <laughs> Thank you. Well, oh, you're way too high, bro. Come on, chill, chill. Oh my gosh. Relax, buddy, relax. Hey. What's up, man? It's a hot one, huh? What do we got, Rob? We're getting those ready. muscles, bro. Doing Look the fall harvest. Muscles. Listen, we're gonna do the fall harvest right now. We're gonna make the mix. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna tell you some secrets that I developed over the last 40 years. Let's check the tomatoes. Yeah. So yeah, this is what healthy tomatoes are supposed to look like. I'm gonna show you how to prune it. First of all, look at where the fruit is. See the fruit's coming here? There's a bunch of, hey pal! <laughs> yeah, the little deer dog. Look like a deer. We're gonna prune anything that's not bearing fruit now since it's big enough. So I'm gonna take this one out. And if you look, there's a runner coming in here. Well, they call it suckers. Pull that thing out. And then I'll go up and I'll look. This is fruit bearing, this isn't. I'll take this one out. And you'll see in two, three days, the fruit will still, all the energy goes from branches that don't really need to be there anymore to the fruit. So you want all the power in the fruit. Like look at these two, these little clusters. I'm gonna trim this one. I'm gonna pull the suckers out. And then I'll, I'm not gonna do it all. I do it in stages. When this thing grows maybe another two feet, then I start pruning again, but you'll see the clusters will grow. Forget about these leaves. You know, they're good right now to help make the plant grow. My little uh, move. <laughs> Thor has a hammer. I got this little spade move. So this is just regular uh, Hampton's Estate topsoil. Hampton Estate topsoil? Oh, it's the best. It's a potting mix. It's got everything in it. Now I got an organic potting so soil. Uh, it's more of a compost. This is going to give it more body. It has everything in it. It's got the worm casings, it's got the peat moss, it's got everything that you need. I'm just going to do one and one of this. 
We're, we're getting ready to plant the fall crops. We're gonna seed everything in the greenhouse. So we're making the mix. We're gonna fill the cells, seed them. Two, three, four, five days, they'll start growing. Just like this over here. What do you got there, so uh, this is mixed radishes, this is white radishes, this is bok choy, this is yeah. broccoli, this is cabbage, this is awesome. uh, onions. Earthworm casings, it's one of my favorite things to put in the dirt. It's basically all the um, soil that earthworms are in, their casings have everything plants need. So I'll mix half of this bag with bone meal. Bone meal is one of the greatest things you can give the plants. We we'll love the bone meal. Oh man, dogs love it. You want to distract the dog? Uh, take a handful of eight. Throw it. There you go. I'll use half this bag. Watch. He's sneaking. He knows it's in there. Yeah, he knows it's in there. I got chicken manure. Put that in there. I would use other manure too. Cow manure if I had it, but it's a little sticky. I want this to be loose soil so that the precious little seeds, their roots can grow and there's no obstruction. It's not fighting to get in the soil. This has everything the plant needs to explode right out of the gates. You like this? This used to be a giant shovel and then I turned into the Hulk. But now, this is my churner. It's a churner. Alright, you make sure you get all the dirt. It's two different colors, so you want to make sure the black is mixing with the beige. That rumble is serious, dude. If I have to go, I'd like to get hit with lightning making a beautiful soil for a plant. No, I'd actually like it to be like a fight with an a, a wild animal, maybe a great white shark. Or, <laughs> nah, I don't want to die. I want to win that one. So good, we got the mix. Now we're going to start filling some containers. I'm going to put a little more topsoil on there. This has a little more body. Ideally, you should use gloves. That's all I got to say. But I want to feel the earth. I want to feel it. I guess this is a form of earthing. There you go. You want to put these seeds in fertile soil. It's like us. When we're in the right so soil and we're hanging out with the right people and we're doing the right things, you know, we thrive. But when you're in the wrong soil, it's kind of like a plant. You're in the wrong soil. You don't have enough sunlight. You don't have enough water. You're not staked up and you have no strength. The plant's going to, it's not going to make it. But when you, when those roots are in the soil and it, and it, it comes out of the cell, like check this out. Put the seeds in here, right? And then it grow. Look, this is growing. You want those those roots to be ready to go to the next level. So you put it in the right soil, those roots just explode down, out. It's amazing. Man, I feel like they went like all out of whack, like in just so many different things this day. Maybe I'll just film videos in the sun like this. This is perfect lightning, right? Looks amazing. I can't even see the road. <laughs> Very interesting day in the sense that I got a decent amount of stuff done at the beginning of the day, and then my, at like 1.30 my day got totally thrown out of whack um all in perspective from good to you know that's the best part about the vlog it like really makes me think about like what i'm talking about and yeah very often gives perspective and in all reality like my day got totally thrown off schedule but for all good things at like one o'clock rob came over and brought over a ton of new dirt and he we made a, a great mixture which you saw in the vlog and I'm gonna be filling a ton of new trays for our whole fall crop and in all reality like that's a blessing that you know he brought it over he knows what the mixture should be he paid for the mixture he or his boss I don't know how that really works but like regardless it was free to me he set up all the trays I now have to put the dirt in and, and then put the uh, seeds in but like he helped a ton he saved me a ton of money and a ton of time it was just it was kind of like a whirlwind because everything happened at once then a guy came over and dropped off a baklava for my parents uh, my, he knew my parents were at home and he wanted to drop off drop them off one so uh he asked if he could drop it off my house so i'm gonna so then he came it was pouring rain out and then my aunt and uncle came over and cousin came over they live in florida i was able to see them i saw them a couple days ago but i wanted to see them again before they left so they came over for lunch but then but they came a half an hour early and it was just a whole whirlwind of things going on it was all good stuff so i got to hang out with my family from florida i actually gave my uncle a tattoo uh and then i drove to a bakery and got uh, got me and jamie dinner but the dinner that we were planning they were they ran out of so i just had to get something else so the whole day was kind of thrown off kilter but sometimes that's some of the best stuff so if you if as a <laughs>
Oh, these are the best. The vlogs are the best because they make me think of things that are so true. As long as you stay flexible and you stay open to change, amazing things can happen. But if you white knuckle every moment and hold on like this is the plan, this is how it has to be, you'll be miserable. So I'm learning to let go and not white knuckle every moment. Ah, that's funny.